first time this season you had a 100-yard rusher against you. What, what was different about that Oklahoma State game? Um, yeah, I thought uh, probably for the first time this season, maybe we didn't win the physical battle at the line of scrimmage. Um, you know, it was um, – there were certainly some individual, individual matchups that I thought we did an okay job with. But uh, by and large, I thought uh, they were the more aggressive football team. And um, and, and I, I think when we're not making plays in their backfield, you know, that, that uh, when we're playing on our side of the line of scrimmage, it's never going to be a good thing. But they did a nice job of, you know, squirting the ball out on the perimeter and dinking and dunking and, and kind of – Getting us a little bit tentative, and um, and that's uh, that's that's the end result. Is it available to be at cornerback for Saturday? Uh, Jacob's progressing, but it's still going to be a, a, a questionable. Uh, and Willie's in the same boat, questionable. Uh, what do you see from that? I'm sorry, Brooks, the running back. Oh, uh, there, there, guy. I thought you were talking about Phil Brooks. Uh, he's phenomenal, and I think he's a. Uh, uh, Probably as as hot of a back as there is in the league right now, you know, just a, a really bigger back, a guy that's tougher to bring down, a guy that's very patient, uh, really does a good job of of keeping his feet underneath him. You know, never gets himself overextended. It's hard to get good shots in on him. Um, I think he's good in the pass protection. You know, I think he does a lot of things really, really well. I think he's a, a really good football player. Yeah, as a defense coordinator, how troubling is it to watch your team lose a physical battle? Yeah, it doesn't happen uh, very often, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think that's where, you know, some of our, our leadership's just got to continue to progress. You know, I, I think when, when you have a guy like uh, Deuce Green, that, you know, we rally the troops, and, and uh, there's not any individual that was, uh, you know, it's just, um, I don't, and I don't even know if it's just the, it's just the aggressiveness by which we play. You know, if we're trying to be right all the time and we're trying to be uh, just perfect in everything that we do instead of just going out and playing football, uh, that's never going to be a good situation. You know, if we're sitting there analyzing instead of attacking, you know, we're always going to be a step behind. What are a few things you guys can do to create a few more turnovers on defense? Yeah. You know, we've we've kind of fallen into this. Uh, you know, we're, we're playing a lot more man coverage, which I think inherently is going to um, – Maybe you, with less eyes on the football, sometimes that that ends up uh, being a being a team, uh, you know, a situation that creates less turnovers, um, just because you don't have as many eyes on balls. Um, I don't. We're not doing anything differently than we've done in the past. Um, we couldn't be emphasizing it more. I mean, we do turnover circuits all the time. Uh, you know, we 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 drill it, we watch it, we do it in practice. It's just not materializing on game day. You know, and I think sometimes turnovers are. You know, they're magical things. You know, sometimes they come in bunches, and then sometimes you go into droughts. Um, but again, I think when we play with aggression and uh, when we just have that mentality, I think that's when those things start to happen a little bit more frequently. Has Genizel Thomas made the type of prog progress you would associate with a normal freshman? You know, um, Genizel's uh, going to be a really good football player. Um, he's, um, you know, he doesn't have quite the, the – the idea of what we're doing is to the to the extent of a of a Jacob Parrish or Willie, um, but he is um, he's making great progress. Is he quite ready? Um, he's on the cusp. How much confidence do you have in um, guys like Keenan and just it's Justice James, right? Justice here. James. Uh, sorry, I don't want to get it wrong. But how much confidence do you have in that that duo when they're out there on the field together? A uh, ton of confidence. You know, those guys are good football players. I think they're good. Um, in in certain areas, and I'll say it this way, you know, uh, Keenan Garber is a phenomenal man cover player. He's one of the fastest guys we have on our team. He's got good ball skills. Um, I think he uh, does a really good job in that in that setting. You know, is he the guy that we want uh, on the LOS? You know, that that would be Justice's department. You know, I think, uh, and and they're both good football players. They just need they need time. You know, they need um, they need experience, and we're working like heck to get him that during the week, and then on Saturdays. I hope that confidence that they gain during the week carries over to the game. What did you guys do in the red zone to force so many field goals last week? I just thought we executed a little bit better when we got down there. I think we got our, our, our feet underneath. We didn't make any magical calls or do anything uh, different. Um, you know, guys just, you know, bowed up and, and, and did their jobs. And I, I think that had we done that maybe earlier in the series, we wouldn't have had those situations in the first place. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think – it just comes down to our aggression and our execution. What would you say is the 
mentality of the defense right now? Are you guys, are you guys angry heading into this game, or is it something else? Yeah, I think guys are, are, are frustrated. I think guys are. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say the term fr frustrated is maybe the wrong term, but guys are um, anxious to show that they can be better. You know, I think we can be better as a unit. I think we can be better uh, individually in, in some aspects. Um, I think as coaches, we can we can do a better job. Um, I think we just want to get past this thing and get get on to the next one. Got the kind of battle you're looking for from your nose guards from the three men you've had go up there. Yeah, I, I think you know that's part of it too. Is is we got to get those guys more active. You know, I think sometimes those guys get a little bit stagnant. I think Uso is as good of an athlete as we have in the program, and uh, I think sometimes he's uh, lost in the shuffle. You know, and we need to get him uh, a little bit more active. I think those guys battle in there. They do. They do a good job in, in their little worlds. We got to find a way to get those guys around the ball a little bit more.